Hello everyone and welcome to Super Nerds Gaming. I am Simon and we are here for a game hunt video. Now I've not done one of these before because normally when I'm out game hunting the games that I get will go into either the categories of a retro pickup or a charity shop pickup. But instead I got asked when I was hunting for games on my day off would I show the pickups of it in like a kind of just one haul and I was like yeah, why not? So this is a game and hunt video and it's I'm just going to explain um, a little briefly what I do when I go out. So um, when I was off uh, this Wednesday, I went round Liverpool City Centre and did some game hunting. Now my first stop was cash converters, which is like just before you get into the city centre. And um, it's like one of the new stops on my kind of routine it never used to be and i always think why 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 didn't i i think it was the fact that i had to get off the bus a little bit earlier to do it that was it just me being lazy but i went into there and they had quite a good selection of games it was kind of trimmed down from last time i was in there but they also had some retro games in the cabinets that was worth a look at so I did have a look in there and I did pick some stuff up there, but you will have to wait till the end of the video to check that out. Now, my next stop would have been uh, uh, the British Heart Foundation, which they have two off in town. So I went to like the furthest one and then straight up to the next one, which then sends me to another charity shop. Now, there was nothing of interest in either of these. Um, the second one, there was some Madden PS1 games, which I posted a while ago. They're still not gone. No one wants them. I've seen it before. Everyone going, spare cases. Yeah, but I don't want to take them just in case that's someone's jam and they see it or they see it through my posts and go, ooh, I want to get them. The day I haven't touched them. Uh, so there was only them games in the uh, second British Art Foundation charity shop. So then I moved on to the last charity shop, which is by no means the last charity shop in town. It's just the last on my kind of little trek because I was going to pictures this day. So I kind of, I kept it streamlined to where I want to go. Um, and that was uh, Oxfam. And they do normally have some good games in there. But I will be honest, the prices can vary very much in there i mean i've picked up mega drive games in there before at 199 each which has been an amazing you know price to pick up mega drive games they had one in there Megalom megalomania yes i've got it up there i actually didn't know if i had it or not because i bought it that long ago and i think that's the problem with being a collector if you don't have it written down anywhere you're like do i have that well i already did but it was there for 999 it's probably what it's worth online, but in a charity shop, I would have thought, mm, yeah, maybe a fiver. That would have went a bit quicker. They also have some games at the back of the shop, near some comics and that. So uh, it was a good look in there, and I did pick up some stuff from there. Now, apart from the charity shops and the cash converters, I did say I go to CEXs as well. We have two in Liverpool, uh, well, in Liverpool City Centre. We have a small one and a larger one. So I went and checked out both of them. Now in the small one, the retro section in there has got, it's abysmal really. They've got some good games in there, but the prices aren't good at all. If the prices were good, then yeah. Now it has proper got really small in there. It used to be the whole glass cabinet. Now it's just like a little box on the bottom. And it pretty much the same in the big CEX. Um, they got they had quite a few nice uh, SNES box games in there, uh, but again, it was the prices that were putting me off on there. So I, I didn't really buy into it. But the stuff that I did get, so I got some stuff from Cash Converters, which was my first hit, and I got some stuff from Oxfam. And now we're gonna go through it, guys. So for my first pickups from Cash Converters. I picked up Lord of the Rings War in the North. Now, I've been extending my Xbox 360 collection quite a lot now. I'm trying to fill out some of the gaps that I've got in it. So, I've picked up two of the Lord of the Rings games in some of my older videos. Now, I've picked up this, so I think I do have them all. Apart from Shadow of Mordor on the Xbox 360, which I'm not too sure that is on. 
it might be, it might not be, I might be just dreaming it, it might only be on the Xbox One. So I picked this up and it was for the price of three ninety nine. I absolutely hate these stickers. I think anyone who's ever been to a cash converters knows my pain here. <clears throat> now there is some, I did check the disc and there is a few scratches on it, but it looks overall to be fine. So I'm quite happy with picking that up there. I mean, I was looking for another game, but I seen that there and I was like, yep, I've been after that. I was looking on eBay at one point, but seeing it there, I'll pick it up there and then. My next game I picked up is a SNES game. And I haven't picked up a SNES game in absolutely ages. But they had some SNES games in the cabinet in there. And they were actually pretty reasonably priced. Apparently they come in as a big bundle. So I don't know what else was there before it got raided. Or I might have this might have been the bundle that it was there. So this is Tiny Toon Adventures Buster Bust Loose. Now... I know the Tiny Toon games are pretty fun. I do have one on the Mega Drive. And I'm always looking to expand my SNES collection when I see something for a good reasonable price. And for 3 99 that was a good price. Now, what I like here is the, this horrible sticker here. They've actually put some masking tape underneath it. So... How good was that? Is that that's just come off really nicely without any effort at all? I mean, why can't they do that for all of them? Or I mean, fair enough. I can really try with the Xbox three sixty cases, but as long as they're looking at the uh, the snares, the retro stuff, and doing it with a bit of care like that, I'm quite happy. Now the last item I got from that cash converter is not a game, it is actually a Thundercat figure and it is Panfro. Now I the way their stores laid out is a bit strange to uh, other cash converters that have been in. So they had the games, like the retro games in the cabinet, they had the 360 ones and PS3 on a shelf. And then round the corner they had some random toys on there. And as I was, I was just walking around, I noticed like a big Star Wars at at, which looked amazing, but was way too pricey. And then I just seen Panfro just sitting there on the shelf. And I was like, oh, no way. I can't just leave this guy here. I mean, you know, Thundercats was my childhood. I absolutely loved Thundercats. Now, this is Panfro with like punching action. He's got like a little lever on the back there. He's in pretty good nick considering his age. I mean, there's a bit of paint scuff there and on the Thundercat sing symbol, but other than that, he's in pretty good condition. I did give him a quick clean up as well. I mean, this is something I would say for a, a Super Nerds toy box, but again, when I'm throw this is just a game hunt, so I'm throwing everything into this. So, so these were all the pickups from the cash converters. So that was basically the first shop I hit, and I hit some good stuff. So then I hit the Oxfam shop, uh, shop, as you can see, with the sticker there. And I seen the Matrix on Blu-ray for one ninety nine, And I was like, yep, I'm picking that up. One of my favourite films. Love the Matrix. Absolutely. And used to watch it again and again as a kid on VHS. I think I wore that tape down. I watched it that many times. But when I seen it there, it was just it was actually mixed in with the games. I was like, yep, I'm picking you up. I'm having a bit of that. And it looks to me like it's brand new near enough. I don't know whether someone got it and then got the box set or something. But again, for one ninety nine, was not arguing at all. And then I took a chance on a game I know nothing about. Now, I've seen the film. Film's okay. But it's a game that I don't have in my 360 collection. And it is Where the Wild Things Are, the video game. Now, this could be absolute crap, but I thought, you know what? It's worth taking a chance, especially when it's one ninety nine. I had all the 360 games that was there at that point in time. So I thought, you know what? Let's give it a go. If it's crap, it's crap. You know, at least I tried it. I mean, some of these games that you take a chance on can surprise you. I kind of don't think this is going to, but at the same time, you know... Why not? It was only one ninety nine. So these were the pickups from Oxfan, and obviously it was literally just the Matrix and where the wild things are. And then we have our total haul with uh, the cash converters added on, and that is everything I got on this game hunt. 
let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching this video and I do hope you enjoyed it. I mean, it was a bit of a breakdown of what I do on my kind of charity shop hunts and stuff. I mean, I post a lot of images up on social media about me going to these places and stuff. And I feel like, if anything, this video is giving a kind of bit of context of the travels I do around here. I mean, I'm not traveling a great distance at all, but at the same time, um, I have my own little set path that I take. Do you guys have your set paths? I mean, when you go out charity shop hunting, is there like certain shops you will hit and certain shops you won't? Let me know. Put it in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, I will catch you next time.